Hey guys, this is going to blow your mind. If you're doing podcast voiceover, maybe you recorded some vocals and you have some ambience noise, you have some air conditioning in the background, you want to remove that ambience and separate it from the vocals, check this out. So first of all, here I have my uh, own voice recorded some tutorial on Cosmos and CR8. Let's have a listen. I'm going to bypass everything. Let's get started. So we have both of them open here. We have the CR8. Right, and I want to challenge this plugin. I want to see if I can remove noise, but my vocals, my uh, voice over here sounds great. Anyway, I'm going to do that with the Retrofy. So if you remember, Waves released Retrofy, which is a plugin that has echo, it has reverb, it has noise, it has device. So I'm going to use the noise section to simulate some rumble and noise in the background. And then we're going to challenge clarity and see if you can remove that. Very, very cool. So let's listen. the CR8 sampler and we have Cosmos. So let's, so let's put clarity to work. I'm going to have clarity here and we're going to have the background noise and let's see clarity in action. So let's get started with the sample finder. So it's pretty straightforward. We have a lot of samples. They're organized with tags. We have loops. We have one shots. We have our favorites, which we don't really have. How about that? So it did the work. And well, how it works is really a lot of technology related to neural network, meaning we have an engine that maps out and can separate the ambience from the voice. And so now both of them, again, use the same technology, but I'm going to show you that with the VX Pro, you get a little bit more control. But let's first see what we've got with Clarity VX. So first of all, we have the neural network here and we have broad one and two. And we also have analysis single or double. So you can see the tooltip on the bottom. If you choose broad one, you get this uh, better for keeping voice detailed and secondary for speech. And if we select broad two, we get better for serve ambience, keep mostly main voices uh, for a uh, close miking. So analysis is single or duo. So single will just sum up the stereo channels while the double analyzes the left and right channels separately. Pretty cool, right? So now let's see what we've got with the Clarity VX Pro. So this is Clarity VX Pro. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to start the noise. Open here, we have the CR8 sampler and we have Cosmos. So let's get started with the sample finder. And so you can already see that we have a major difference. Here we can focus on the ambience or the voice. So it's pretty straightforward. We have samples. There. And we again have the neural network selector. We have broad one, we have broad one high frequencies, and we have the broad two. So you need to experiment with that with whatever source you're trying to fix and see what works best. And then we can also do something here with the width so we can adjust the width of the output signal and even go into mono if we like. And we have the advanced controls. So in the advanced controls, again, we, we have the neural network, but we also have the analysis engine single or double, and we have sensitivity normal or high. But we also have reflection, which restores the natural reflections from the input signal, right? And we also have the process amount. But on the top here, you can see four bands. And we can just adjust the different bands. And we can drag this little thing here to sort of limit the plugin effect on that particular 
band. We can also solo, so let's just try that one. They're organized with tags, we have loops, we have blind spots, we have our favorites, which we don't really have. And let's go back to our blind spots here. So we can audition any of them. into right and we also have this ambience gate so you can adjust that and sort of let in or take the ambience out so this is really really important so that controls the amount of ambience reduction uh, during the unvoiced part so for example if you have some constant buzzing right so we have some source we have some audio and there's constant buzzing and in between we are talking or singing whatever and we want to make sure that we are removing that ambient noise in between words or segments we can use that gate to the sampler double click there you go let's close this uh, cosmos for now and play something and again, it works when you're introducing the ambient noise. So that's, uh, I mean, it makes sense because that's the work of that gate. And of course, you can do a lot of things with this plugin as well as use it in different creative ways. But I think this is an amazing plugin to clean up your signal, to remove rumble, noise, or buzzing. Very good work waves. Thank you, and uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know in the comments what do you think.